Hey guys, I'm just going to make a quick how-to for these spotlight frames for anybody else that ever gets confused if they buy one, how to actually put it together if it comes on assembled. Uh, so basically you want to just get all four of your frame pieces out. This is just a basic 18 by 24. And then you take your uh, pieces with the screws here and your pieces without the screws and you set them aside. And you're going to want to have these, uh, these are the back plates. You're going to want to have them with the B or the Made in USA um, on the upside. I don't know why, but the instructions say that. Uh, once you have that, you're going to basically just take one of these and then one of the back plates with that B as in Bravo or the Made in USA side up. And you're basically going to put the one with the screws uh, on top of that. And then you're going to insert it into the frame itself. So I already have the one side inserted, um, just overlapping. And then you want to just take a standard flathead screwdriver and just screw it down to the right clockwise until it tightens up and you can see that it's not coming out. Uh, so if we just do the same with this side. And just put it in there and then just tighten it down and obviously you would want to try to, to line it up as best as possible so there's no cracks but uh, once you tighten that up then you can see uh, I can't pull these apart and it's got it locked in there so then you can go ahead and uh, put your picture in there with everything else all right so now that you got your frame all together you got all the corners in holding it together you're going to want to hang it on the wall. So to do that, you're going to want to find a wall and uh, pretty much mark where you want to have it. I basically just took a level I had, unfolded it out, so that way you have a nice flat surface, surface when you hang it up um, to where you want it. You can get it level, and then just with a pencil in hand, uh, just mark little circles in these divots here on each side uh, where you're going to want it. And then you're going to want to take a 3 16 inch drill bit and you're going to want to drill in those holes. And then we're going to hammer these anchors into the holes. Then after that, you're going to take the frame, put it up, and take the screws and screw them into those anchors that you hammered into the wall. Okay, so I went ahead and drilled out two holes. And now it's time to put in the yellow anchors with a hammer. Okay, so now I have the yellow anchors just hammered into those holes we screwed. And now you're going to take the actual screws and just drill them into the anchors with the frame beneath them. So frame up, screw, and then just drill it to the wall so that way it's not going to move when you open it or close it. Alright, so we put the frame up. Uh, aligned with the holes on each side and we took those screws and then just screwed it into those yellow anchors into the wall and now it's in there nice and sturdy it will not move it'll move on the bottom but you you have uh, three extra screws one's actually an extra two extra screws if you want to use them on the bottom to really secure it in place so that way it's not uh, pulling off the wall I might do that later I think I'm just gonna leave those two in now but that's basically how you put it together and I'll show you the final how it looks on the wall and then you put your picture in I'll show you how to do that in a second and then we'll just close the flaps but I'll show you how to do that okay so now it's time to put in the overlays you have three of them uh, I believe one's just extra you're gonna want at least one in the back one on the front but since you have three uh, you should be able to put two in the back and then the one on the front. I would just take whichever one looks nicest. Uh, looks like I have maybe some damage on this one. It might peel off uh, with the protective uh, sticker that is on there, if you will. Or it's to protect it from getting damaged in shipping or any smudges or anything. And basically how you're going to want to do it with the frame already on the wall is um, you're going to want to basically get your poster ready and you're going to want to put the two down 
and then your print on top and then the actual overlay that you're going to use for the glass section basically on top of that. And you're going to want to sandwich it all together that way you can just press it in there because if you try to do one at a time it's just going to want to fall out and roll out uh, so you're going to want to get it all together and put it in there and start closing it. Okay so once you have it sandwiched in there you can go ahead and close the whole frame very gently and then you have your finished poster. Now with the overlays that you have, there's a matte side and a gloss side. If you want the least amount of glare, you want the matte uh, rougher side, you can feel it facing outwards. Uh, otherwise you can flip it around and use the glossy side for the outward position. Thanks for watching.